The world has been, we will say vaguely at peace for a while now and so much of our international agreements are held on paper. Whereas we, if we go back through most of human history, national security and peace and even victory were all underpinned by defence, physical superior defence forces. Now I understand this offends modern sensibilities, particularly in the Greens who firmly believe that you can hug it out with a communist empire. But civilizations only appear to understand each other through war. Now on that note, if Trump had won a second term in the White House, do you think that Russia would have made a move on Ukraine? After all, he has shown a willingness to defend assets and allies in the Middle East previously. So maybe the question about what would have happened if Russia had breached this memorandum if Trump was in power is a little more murky than with Biden. Yeah, look, um, as we know, uh, uh, Trump has boasted that he would end that war within a couple of days. Now, your question is whether Russia, would Russia have uh, invaded um, Ukraine if Trump was uh, in the White House? I don't believe he would have. Uh, I believe that whether Trump would invoke the Budapest re referendum or not, he would not have, you know, sat idly by. I mean, he certainly wouldn't have said what Biden said. Well, it depends how how serious the incursion is. You know, I guess not. <laughs> it's not Trump talk. So I think on the f one hand, I don't think Putin would have dared. Meaning he just wouldn't. He didn't. Tr he, he wouldn't trust. Trump to do what was expected, which wasn't known, and Trump's supposed friendship with Putin would have also come into play. If, for example, Trump were to become the president, um, he, what he said he would do is that he would ring Vladimir and say, listen, uh, if you don't accept the terms of agreement and stop the war, we're going to give new Ukraine more than we've ever given it. We're going to arm it to the teeth. Well, I mean, in a sense, that's what should happen. But um, if he wanted to, if he need, if he felt the need to base that on anything, he could base it on the Budapest Memorandum. Um, whether that's actually a reality, I mean, I don't think I don't think Zelensky is in the mood for a deal that pr provides uh, Russia with any benefits of the incursion and of, even of Crimea. So we are about to find out what would happen when Trump is in power, I believe, because it looks quite likely that Trump has a fair shot of being in power to resolve that mess, which is why I asked about what would happen if he had been, because we will get the answer to the latter one soon if we wait long enough, because Biden, <laughs> let's face it, he yeah. can't find Ukraine on a map and he's having conversations with people who have been dead for years. So he's not really in control of the situation.